My name is Matt. I'm a senior in PR and event management, and I did my court case on U.S. versus President Nixon, which is the White Hicks scandal, as everyone knows. On June 17, 1972, five burglars were caught in the Democratic National Committee, and they were they called uh, someone called the police on them. And when the police arrived, they found tapes on every single door as they were trying to um, get wiretapped phones. Each of them, each of these five guys right here, had thousands of dollars in their pocket. All that money was traced back to the committee to re-elect President Nixon. And for the next two plus years, two Washington Post journalists named Bob Woodward and uh, Carl, Carl Bernstein were looking into this break-in to see where did it come from. And it came out to be that President Nixon had ties to these guys, and he sent them to this building right here to get the wiretap phone. And President Nixon denied all this, and he had no involvement in it. But as the two, journal the two journalists kept looking in, and they got to go to the highest level of Congress and to show them that, you know, he had ties to this break-in. And a burglar, nine, one of these burglars, nine months later, admitted that there was a high-profile cover-up in this scandal. And eventually it turned out to be there was recording tapes that President Nixon, he records his, in the White House, he records all the stuff that he says, and those tapes had to be, you know, given to the courthouse. President Nixon refused to, but in a unanimous 8-0 ruling, he had to give up the tapes. And then once he, once he gave up the tapes, it was evident that he had everything to do with this burglary. He assigned the burglary and he had the cover-up. He was talking about that in those tapes. So as soon as impeachment proceedings were beginning to happen, President Nixon decided to resign on April 9th, 1974. And when Gerald Ford was sworn into office a month later, he pardoned President Nixon for all the crimes that he committed in office. I think that you know President Nixon deserved to be impeached because for one he was lying under oath and as the President of the United States you have a certain responsibility to carry in. The way you portray yourself is the whole country is looking at you. And for him to lie and say, you know, he had nothing to do with that and for him to be exposed of that, you know, made him look like, you know, stupid. And I believe that he deserved to be impeached, but he took the easy way and just resigned.